Hey everyone, and welcome to Multiverses University. My name is Bam and I'm with Charles, and today we're gonna to go over how to combo in Multiverses. Multiverses Global Mechanics are a marriage of iconic fighting games and platform fighting mechanics that extend into the combat system. Combos are most often about canceling your animations manually to achieve frame advantage and continue to chase down your opponent with optimized movement to extend your combo. Let's go over the rules and tactics necessary to optimize your combo game. First, we'll start off with the jab combo. In multiverses, a jab combo can be canceled by most of your grounded options. That means charge attacks, specials, jump, and dodge. After every subsequent jab besides the finisher, you can go into a command normal. This allows for a myriad of guaranteed combos, dodge traps, and more. Jabs are performed by a horizontal direction plus attack on the default control scheme and tend to be the fastest options for the cast. Some jabs are great pokes with decent disjoints and combined with cancels are just great combo starters, whether it be from jab two via cancels, which tend to have the most hit stun across the cast, or transitioning into a command normal for the extension or charge attack. Haven't even broken a sweat. A charge attack is an attack that can be charged and released at any time during the charge. Most ground and aerial normals in this game have the capacity to go into a charge state. Keep in mind that once you reach max charge, the move will automatically release. Some have armor components, armor breaking components, and they tend to have larger than average hitboxes. One of the greatest aspects of a charge attack is the ability to dodge cancel out of them. This allows for not only incredible movement options, but a way to return to a dodge state, which allows players to use all of their options. This is known as CADC, which stands for charge attack dodge cancel, and opens up a myriad of combo routes. Jump canceling can be done during attacks most notably up attack, which is a universal launcher for the cast. This one is one of the more common cancels used to extend combos. Use jump canceling to start a juggle combo or a quick aerial to bring an opponent back down to ground level. Special cancels can be done with every normal attack in the game. This of course cancels the end lag of set attack, allowing for more frame advantage. This can be the difference between a special comboing from a normal attack or not. Utilize this to not only combo, but also to create setups from out of frame advantage. In multiverses, it's important to note that aerials will always finish their animations before a character can go into a grounded state. This is important for combos, so you can do aerials as low as possible to the ground. While airborne, your character can only perform two air specials, two jumps, and two dodges. You can replenish resources via wall cling or returning to the ground. This is an important factor transitioning between offense edge guard combos to recovering with limited resources. Aerial specials can be canceled as well to extend air combo strings. This is very strong for utilizing specials as combo enders. While executing a move, a character still has the capacity to fast fall. This helps for spacing certain air combo starters and can shorten multi-hit aerials. After you use the same move often, that move will start to have move decay after the fourth use. This makes the move have less hit stun and knockback, which makes the move more difficult to combo or KO with. This prevents infinites and also forces players to get more creative with their combo game and neutral. After a character gets hit into the ground or the wall, they will bounce off the surface with hit stun. Hit stun carries over from the bounce, so it depends on the knockback of the move and the percent of the player getting hit. There is nothing you can do to prevent the bounce, so this opens up guaranteed combo routes especially for characters that have good vertical combo game. This also applies to vertical walls and ceilings, which is important for offstage part of the game. After doing an aerial and landing on the ground, you are locked out from doing that same aerial for about a second. This prevents looping the same move over and over in a combo and forces players to use different moves in their combo strings. In the closed alpha, there was an exploit that got around this. If you dodged to the ground, it would ignore this lockout. This was not intended, so it will be fixed by the time the open beta comes around. But just keep in mind that the combos we showcase here are from the closed alpha, so you will see some of the combos using this exploit. The perk system in the game can change combo routes and possibilities. Triple jump perk gives you another jump to extend combos, 
the two elasticity perks reduce the knockback and hit stun when bouncing off of surface, making you harder to combo. There are also other perks that can increase the damage output of combos, as well as giving you, the player, options and flexibility to their combo game. As a player who's used the combo system to maximize my punishes, I've come up with a general combo theory to assist your extensions and combo game. As a starting point, I'll reference that the three core methods for cancels are dodging, jumping, and special canceling. With such flexible methods, you can transition into most of the character's movesets. Jumping, of course, allowing players to transition into aerials for further extensions vertically or offstage. Special cancels provide you exclusive enders and creative setups. And dodge canceling allows you to do another normal for more opportunities overall. It's also great to mention that since all of the current movesets follow these rules, avoiding attack decay in your punishes can also be pretty simple. From that, I'd like to showcase a few examples using these points. All right, and that about wraps it up for how to combo in multiverses. I wanna give a big shout out to Leviathan for helping us out with these combos and having a stellar combo showcase. Also just showcasing to everyone how great this combo system really is, how easy to learn, but really hard to master. And yet it's so satisfying, you know, learning and finding out all the different cancels and utilizing them to optimize your overall combo game plan. Yeah, absolutely. And if you guys have any questions about the combo game or anything like that, make sure to leave it in the comments below and we'll get to it as soon as we can. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and until next time, class dismissed.